My favorite chemistry fact is that if you put enough salt, pure salt, sodium, whatever you want to call it, into water, it will explode. Today I'm 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 playing uh, this the same deck that I've been trying to play. Last last video I I lost all games I'm pretty sure, uh, but this time I'm gonna go with Fireball because uh, Fireball, and uh, yeah, let's let's oh my iPad fell that's not a good sign. Um, okay. Anyways, besides my iPad falling, uh, I want to talk about I, I I might I might end up yapping a lot in this one because I'm really passionate about this. Um, but today I want to talk about how I believe that, like, the multiple universes, multiple dimensions, whatever you want to call it, is real. Like, it's, it's, it's a real thing that happens in our world, right? Um, and now you're probably wondering, like, you're, you're probably questioning if I'm, if I'm psychotic or something, right? Because, you know, the idea of multiple, u are we serious? I might, I might lose this. Nice, Ice Spirit jumped. Okay, um, this is this might still be salvageable, I think. Um, okay, no, that right tower is definitely gone. Um, but basically, I believe that there are multiple universes. I believe that there are multiple dimensions, whatever, galaxies, whatever you want to say. Um, and that's simply because um, there's a very fundamental principle of atoms, you know, the things that make up our body and literally everything, like, physical in our world. Um, there's a very fundamental theory or principle theory. I think it's more principle than theory. Um, and that's that an atom can relay information from one atom to another atom that's literal light years away from it. For example, or... I guess what that means is like an atom down here on Earth can send the same amount of signals or the same information to to an atom, let's say, literally like in a star near Earth or near the sun. Um, okay, I'm definitely losing this. T okay, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna win this. Um, okay, this is really bad. Uh, the prince can connect. Okay, the princess. Did, the prince did connect. Um, but yeah, so an atom down here on Earth can communicate to an to to an atom that's literally like close to the sun. Which, you know, when you think about it, is kind of weird. How is an atom able to do that? Like, how is a tiny particle able to do that, but we can't? Um, and the, oh my God. Okay, I'm just gonna have to fireball and log all this. Nice. Okay, this guy this guy's just gonna bully me. Yeah, he's just gonna bully me. Um I might be screwed actually. Okay, let's go like that. See he's probably just gonna zap. Oh he used log. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this. Um But basically the print the the, the 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 fundamental principle of Adams is that it exists at every single point in time, at any position in time, uh, in time and space. Um, it, yeah. Yeah, so basically what that means is that an atom can do whatever it wants to do, and we have no idea. The only reason we know the existence of atoms is because they, they, they stay in a fixed position when we observe it. So what that means, for example, is like, you know, I have a I have a table with a room in it, right? But for all I know, that table could not exist because I'm not actively seeing it. The atoms in that the the atoms that make that table could very well not exist. It could literally disintegrate or not disintegrate, but you know, deform and go somewhere else the minute I look away. But as soon as I come in, and I know that there's a table that exists there. The atoms come back and form that table. I know it's a little, it's a little a abstract to think about, but that's kind of that, that, that's an example. It's not reality. It's not. It's not true. It's like we can't. It's not a theory that we can prove to be completely true. Um. But that that's that's one of the basics we know of atoms is that they can exist at any certain orientation, space, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, and so basically, there was a um, 
Yeah, the, the, so there was a there was a study that was done, and it won the Nobel Prize actually. I think a year or two ago, that basically tried to prove this 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 idea that um, an atom on Earth can send signals to an atom that exists somewhere else. Um, I think they did like an atom in Europe was like communicating with an atom in China or Asia or some part of Asia. I think I, I forgot what part of Asia it was. But that, that, that's kind of the basis of uh, where I'm going with this. So keeping in mind all this info that I just gave out to you, Rapid Fire, I'm, I'm sorry. I know it was a lot. Um, keep, keep, keeping that in mind, it starts to make sense as to why there would be, you know, alternate dimensions or alternate universes or what have you. This guy's probably going to freeze this right here. That's why I'm going to get my fireball ready. Nice. Okay. Um, is that going to connect to the tower? Okay, I didn't. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. When, when, you, when you think about those two, like, um, finds, studies, whatever you, you want to call it, it kind of makes sense as to, you know, us having a multi, uh, like, different universes, right? Because when you think about it, what is the definition of another universe or another galaxy or another dimension? It's it's literally the same, you know, um, environment that we live in, or not environment, but the same situation, same whatever you want to call it, like same physical thing that exists. It's 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 another universe like ours, just with different variables. Um, so, like for example. In this universe, the theory is that we evolved from bacteria. Bacteria came together, can um, tissue, and then we got we got oh we got fish, and we evolved from fish essentially. That's that's kind of the theory of of like fish, blah blah blah, but reptiles like the reptile lineage, and then the reptiles decided they want to come out of the water, and that's where monkeys, and then we came from monkeys and all that. Um. Um, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. So, uh, you know, we could have a universe where we evolved from, I don't know, insects, rocks, whatever, and, you know, our, our, we, like, there's another, un there's another universe that lives with rocks or something like that, right? How did the ability not go off? That's, that's stupid. Um, and so then, you know, you, you kind of think about it and you're like, okay, well, if I exist in this world, right, if I exist in this specific point in time at this specific space in time or, yeah, point in space, whatever in time, then what's to say that I don't exist in another universe like mine with the same anatomic um, or anatomic atomic composition as me right and um that's that, that's why i believe in in um in 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 multiple universes and multiple dimensions galaxies all that and i might sound like a crazy guy but i'm 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 pretty i'm pretty convinced that there is a different like version of us different universe um and i think a part of it could be because like you know, it's exciting to think about the fact that there's another world just like ours, but, you know, it's it's a version of you that's experienced different things in life and experienced a lot of other things or maybe, like, didn't experience the things that you wish you didn't experience, if that makes sense. Oh, shoot. I hope the log did not. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that tower's gone. Ah, the stupid masturbators. I hate masturbators with a passion. Oh, and I'm logging that. Night. Let's go with that. Beautiful. Okay, he's doing too much right now. Let's just do this. Perfect. And then let's save my log for his barrel, which he's going to throw right now, as predicted. And I do want this other tower, if you would kindly give it to me. Perfect. Thank you for giving me that tower. And that was a great game. Thank you, Masturbator. Well played. Good luck. Thanks. Um, yeah. So, I'm sorry for yabbing too much in this one. I'm, I'm really passionate about this. Um, 
like probably 25% of my degree was about this, but yeah. Uh, moral of the story is I believe that multi there's multiple universes and when you boil it down to all the principles and theories we know about atoms, it kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe.